Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video. And today I have something fresh. That is Android 11 Developer Preview 2. That has been ported from Pixel 4 to OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 60. But I still cannot recommend this ROM as a daily driver. Even though this build seems to be okay, well in everything. But still, it's a developer preview and not a stable ROM. So you can experience some issues here and there. But as long as you are okay with some bugs, go ahead and try this out. So without wasting any time, let's start. And before proceeding, make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon to stay notified about the latest videos. If you need a video on how to install this preview, do write me down in the comments down below and I'll try to make a video out for you as the process is a bit complicated. We are now in the latest Android 11 or Android R, whatever you wanna call it. So most of the things in Android 11 are same as that of Android 10. But there are some interesting changes under the hood. But the new quick settings panel looks great and colorful than that dull and boring theme like in previous Android version. Unfortunately, that is available only through ADB commands right now. But that might make its way into the final version. After that, you finally have a screen recorder baked right into the system, which is something new for Pixel 4 owners. But we already had that in custom rooms, right? And in the notification part, we now have the new bubble type notifications, as you have seen in the Facebook Messenger over the years. So that is quite handy, especially while multitasking. So that is a great new add on. Also, you can tap on this history button in the bottom of notification panel and see the notification history option. So this will show you what recent notifications you have dismissed recently, which is really useful when you have a bunch of notifications coming at a time. And also, we can now pin apps to the share sheet, so that they are always on the top of the sheet, and this way, things become easier when you want specific apps while sharing. So another handy feature added to the list. Another great add-on that is new in this update is the new dark mode scheduling. So now you can schedule at what time you want the dark mode to be active. And that is quite useful when you are browsing your device at the night time as it's one less annoying thing to do while checking your device for notifications. Also, the Bluetooth will now stay on even when you turn on the airplane mode. And that was one tiny but annoying thing till the last Android version. So thumbs up for that. Also, we can now see which codec is being used by the Bluetooth earphones that you are using. And lastly, the permission layer is also improved in this Android version. So you can allow permission for once when you run the app by selecting allow once only. So this will block access to apps in background which gives you more privacy over the permission in all apps. And this improves the battery life as well. And there are some more hidden features as well that I'll try to activate. And if you want a video on that, do let me know in the comment section down below. So that's it. Till now we have all these new features in the Android 11 developer preview too. Do note that these might not make it to the final version as it's only a port from the Pixel 4 XL. But to be honest, I like the refinements that make it more user friendly and easier for all of us to use. So stay tuned to the channel for more videos like these in future. And press the like button if it helps you out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.